obviously gaming can have its big amazingness and also its big downfalls like flops which is what some people call them like like video game like just bad you know so you know it games like suicide squad the killer justice league that thing did horrible that was a big waste of money uh babylon's fall big waste of money uh what's another one uh the calling two uh big waste of money so obviously video games can fall in that category and movies and tv shows and obviously that's not a bad thing it's just a normal thing but sometimes the people who are in fault for that are the people who made it because i'm pretty sure they could have found a way to not let that happen and for some odd reason they made it happen because of a stupid decision probably someone in the team made so recently there has been a new game that has came out that has faced these consequences and it is a game called concord so i'm pretty sure not a lot of people know about this game uh because it's it's freaking flop just like freaking golem now the reason of this game is not flopping it's not because um, it's a trashy game like you know once you play the game you're gonna feel like uh, rubbish and the breeze will just fly at your screen just how trash it is you know not like nothing about that game is bad from what I heard of but it's more of like how like the, the environment is you can say like when it is released and how it is released is what made this game flopped so before I start um, <clears throat> to people who don't know which is like 95% of you guys uh, Concord is a new hero shooter. I think it was produced by PlayStation. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and it's a hero shooter. And wow, that's so cool. Like, there has never been a hero shooter. Bleh. There has never been a hero shooter ever in the entire existence of this earth. So you know what that means. It might do amazing because we are the first to do it. And, <clears throat> you know, I'm pretty sure they thought that. But I'm pretty sure what happened is that they probably played it safe because, oh, you know... This is just another hero shooter, so what's the worst that can happen? Now, yes, as a hero shooter, um, it is okay. Um, I think, um, from what the gameplay I saw, I think it's not as good as other hero shooters. For example, Overwatch, um, because I feel like Overwatch does way better um, at hero shooting than Concord is. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, Concord is a bad game, to be honest. I think it's an okay game, but games like that, like Overwatch or Padalon can do it way better than Concord. Now, here's where it gets funny. This is where, you know, it's a little silly up in here. So, uh, the big difference is that Overwatch and Padalons is free. They are free hero shooters because most of the, uh, because as of now in 2024, a lot of multiplayer shooters or anything like multiplayer related are becoming free to play because that's how they attract more audiences. You know, so they can fill it up with microtransactions to brainwash people to buying it, freaking a consumerist uh, entertainment industry, which is what we're living in. But the the cool thing, the funny thing is, is that Concord said, you know what? Instead of making it free to play, let's make it freaking forty dollars. Like they just straight up said, all right, we're making a hero shooter that is forty dollars. I don't know who in the white mind has thought. We're gonna make a hero shooter just like Overwatch and just like Paralons and maybe the new uh, Marvel's uh, rivals. But instead of making it free because, you know, we wanna be different, we're gonna make this crap $40. So that's how it felt. It just falls off immediately. I'm pretty sure when I was like doing beta testing and all that, it was free because obviously beta testing is a way to see like how. You know, do the players like it or do the players not like it? You know, what can we improve on? What can we not improve on? You know, should we release the game? Should we make this game $40? You know, and they didn't, they didn't take consideration into that. And that's how it flopped. It, it flopped amazingly. So, right in front of me on my phone, I have statistics showing, you know, it was on, it's a Twitter statistics because that's where I got the information from. So, as of now, I'm looking at a picture that shows me three games. It shows me Overwatch, which is a very popular hero shooter. Paralyn, which is also a kind of popular hero shooter, and obviously the Flop Concord, which is a $40 hero shooter that is worse than the other two games. So, obviously Overwatch is very popular. I am an Overwatch player. I'm not someone who, like, you know, wakes up every day and freaking plays to, like, a freaking Tracer photo, you know. Help me, Tracer, please. You know, I'm not 
someone who plays Overwatch for f- I just play it for fun, you know. If I feel like I wanna, you know, ruin some kids' careers and days, and you know, ruin them from going to like the Overwatch leagues, I can play like boot up the game and play it. But I'm not an advocate Overwatch player. I'm more Mortal Kombat player. So for Overwatch, as of now on the 10th of August, well, it's not even the 10th of August. I was like, as of now from last week, it averaged about 39,000 players. So that's a lot. That's pretty good. Having 39,000 players for a free-to-play game, that's actually pretty good. Um, so in the last 24 hours, of, as of <clears throat> August 10th, which is not today, I was like one week ago, had 55,000 players. And all-time peak in the last 12 months, it was 75,000 players. So, you know, as a free-to-play shooter, it is pretty good. But <clears throat> not a lot of people um, like Overwatch as much as, like, you know, they probably like Fortnite better. They probably like Apex better. Apex is better. Um, but you know what I'm saying. It, it does good. It, <clears throat> having, like, a good, like, 75,000 range for a free-to-play game that not, you know, that's pretty, like, very old and very probably outdated. It's pretty good to, from what I know. You know, I'm not no, like, gamer guy who, like, studies gaming and all that and how, you know, these numbers are pretty good. <clears throat> so now we have a game that's called Paladin. Paladin? 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 Aladdin. So, not as good as Overwatch. 40, uh, 46,000 players as of, um, the, it's like, I, <clears throat> so that's like 4,000, 4,000. But I don't know about Paladins because I feel like that game died. Because I never heard of a paladin game or whatever i never you know heard of it but it also peaked 60,000 60, players in the last 7.8 years ago which is kind of sad maybe it maybe it was a dead game because it was being overshadowed by overwatch now that's that's um, that's cool i mean having a game like overwatch because it, it is a pretty good hero shooter it can overshadow a lot of um <clears throat> people who are like wanting into the market of hero shooters and which is kind of cool because it is a free-to-play hero shooter which means that a lot more audiences including kids will play the game as well and you know pay money and do all that <clears throat> so now we got concord because for paladin for paladins on the 8th of may 2018 it has reached 4,000, you know and at all time peak 7.8 years ago for paladins it has 60,000, which is cool <clears throat> so now we have concord the the freaking forty dollars shooter game. If I'm paying forty dollars for a hero shooter game that Overwatch does absolutely way better, or even Paladins does absolutely way better, and I better see freaking the characters coming out of my screen and choking it, you know, just freaking throwing it back in my face because that's crazy. How I'm gonna I'm who's gonna pay forty dollars to play a hero shooter where you can like play Overwatch <clears throat> for free? Like it's crazy. So, <clears throat> here's the, here it is. So, on the 23rd of August, which is, you know, that, that was yesterday as I was recording this, it, right now, yesterday, it has reached a player base of like 628. Yeah. Not 628,000. 628. That's pretty sad. <clears throat> so, 24 hours ago, the peak from yesterday was 628. Wow, that's crazy. Now, <clears throat> so the all time peak 53 minutes ago 697 wow <laughs> that's that's kind of crazy how a keyword shooter that's supposed, supposedly supposed to be very popular has failed nominally that was not even one <clears throat> that's crazy I don't think anybody will play this game and pay freaking forty dollars for a hero shooter that's probably not as good as other hero shooters in the genre. So probably if they if they reach like at least ten thousand players, which I have highly doubt that they're gonna reach that, I'd be surprised. Like I'll I'll be proven wrong. I'll make a video coming back on here saying, guys, I was wrong. Concord is a game that you should buy it because if you were to buy that game <clears throat> You will ascend to heaven immediately and you will see Jesus So, you know, I'll be happy if they will have um, Do something, but I feel like this will be the highest they'll ever die <clears throat> I feel like this will be the highest they'll ever peak And then it will just <laughs> just vanish from there So it was a big waste of money Now before I continue uh, It is, I should probably point this out Um so maybe you're saying, oh, you know, probably the people who make Concord is like a indie developer, um, and for indie game, it's pretty good. 
But this game had a budget of a hundred and fifteen hundred and fifty million dollars. One hundred and fifty million dollars was this the budget for this game was. It's crazy. This was probably a big flop. You know, there goes, you know, I don't know how much money they made from here because forty dollars you can do like forty dollars times one hundred and twenty eight you can do that in your head. But that's how much revenue they probably got. And you know how much they lost in to make this game? And it will only get worse from here. I'm I don't see a multiverse that Doctor Strange can see. Well, this game will peak like at least five thousand at most. Like it's not gonna happen. So big loss of money. It's crazy. I don't know how they're gonna recover from that. Very stupid play to make a hero shooter forty dollars when there are actual free hero shooters out there who do it probably way better than they do. So yeah, um, very monumental experience that I saw today. Concord, you should probably do better. But maybe if it was free, you know, it probably probably would have made a little bit more money for me if it was free, and you know, put microtransactions in it. But making it forty dollar base game, no, that's not good. What are you Ubisoft? Don't be like Ubisoft. All right, thanks for watching.